Hello, everybody. This is Swati live from Los Angeles. Today is August 19th, 7 a.m. in Los Angeles. And guess what? I am feeling grateful for this morning cup of tea. This morning cup of tea gives me a sense of stability, a sense of peace, and most importantly, just here and now, enjoying this cup of tea and having the warm feeling in my throat and experiencing every moment of those couple of sips. That is one of the most wonderful experiences I have all throughout the day, which is part of my ordinary life. Sometimes I even have coffee and I love my cup of coffee. Sometimes people say, if you meditate and if you are one of the meditators, should you be drinking coffee? Should you be drinking wine? Should you be doing fun things? What do you think my answer to that is going to be? We are not monks. We are householders. But that doesn't mean we just want to do crazy things that we will regret later. What we want to do is to do wholesome activities, activities that don't create destruction, but activities that in fact, indeed, can increase our the goodness, the joy in our lives, as well as the lives of people around us. True, it's not always possible to just keep doing that. It's also true that there are times when we may need to be selfish. We may need to hurt somebody as in, for example, if let's say you are getting a wonderful job and someone who you are attached to in this town is going to be very unhappy when you move away, should you do it or not? Is it OK to hurt this person or not? That's a question you may have to deal with. And you may have to look for your own answers in doing so. Now, what am I do? Why am I talking about all these things today? Partly because I would like to focus on gratitude. Gratitude is an emotion that positive psychologists have talked about as one emotion that can give us joy, and not just to us but to the person who we are expressing the, the gratitude towards. In this context, I would like to actually ask you to see Dr. Raj's video. Now, who is Dr. Raj? Most of you have come to this camp through Dr. Raj's happiness course. This camp is a bonus of Dr. Raj's happiness course. Those of you who haven't, who joined this class independent, this camp independently, should know about Dr. Raj's happiness course that was offered on Coursera. Most of those videos are available online. I would specifically ask you to watch week two, video 11 and video 12. These videos talk about gratitude and show you some wonderful research and studies about gratitude. I'm going to share it with you. In fact, as you can see, OK, let me get rid of the bottom first. And as you can see, I have shared this link here. You will see it. And I'm also going to share it on the screen. OK, so as you can see, this is Dr. Raj's week two, video 11. And it says a practice for when things are going well, gratitude. Now, I'm going to try to start this, and I hope into the audio.
I have a question for you. Did you hear it? Could you hear Dr. Raj's take on gratitude? And if you can tell me, I would really appreciate it. If you can comment. Okay, I have a comment here, which I will respond to a little bit later. Let's first do our gratitude talk. So those of you who could not hear Dr. Raj's explanation of gratitude, research studies show that gratitude strengthens social bonds and a sense of community. So what does that mean? What it means is when, let's say things are going well, and you do something good in your life, something good happens to you, what are you going to feel? You will feel a sense of pride. You will feel good about yourself. And there is a joy in that. But that joy may not last for that long. What you want to do is you want to, exp you want to think about who has attributed to your success or whatever little good things have happened to you. In, wh in what way, wh what helped you to reach that stage? And if you can express gratitude towards those things, it could be one person, it could be an event. If you can do that, you are in fact spreading your joy to another person, or you are having a certain attitude, that's going to increase the social bond. And that's going to make the joy not only yours, but, but it's going to spread it. And that's what we want. The whole point of these exercises is to have a sense of well-being for you by actually creating a sense of, sense of well-being around you. So for, for that purpose, this is what I'm going to ask you to do. I'm going to ask you to think about the times when you did feel good or maybe you're feeling good at the moment. And think about what contributed to that. What gave you that one characteristic that you like about yourself? Or if there is anything you achieved or you felt good about a, a cer certain amount of success, why did you manage to do that? Think about a person or event that may have attributed to this feeling. OK, Anita is saying, couldn't hear anything. No silence. I'm sure even if it was silence, the piece that I had chosen had certain things written on the screen next to Dr. Raj. Um, in any case, I seriously urge you to look at Dr. Raj's uh, week two, video 11, and video 12. They're both available online. You don't have to register for, register for the course in order to see these videos anymore so you can watch these videos and as i said i did summarize some amount of um, whatever dr raj was talking about i'm sorry that when i play a video online it just shares the picture it doesn't share the sound a lot of times uh, I'm really sorry about that. I may be able to figure out how to share the sound as well. But at this point, I hope you got the point. Meanwhile, please, right now, come up with event or a person that has attributed to anything you feel good about. About yourself, about a character you have, or something you do in your life or the times when you may have achieved certain success or something you wanted to do and it worked and you felt good about yourself. So I would like you to think about an event or a person who gave you that feeling. And after that, we are going to do a gratitude meditation. And I'll respond to some of the queries after our meditation. But first, we are going to get into the meditation. Are you ready with your event or person? 
now what i would like you to do is if it is a person think about in what way this person helped you think about at least three things in which this person helped you or if it is an event in which way this event shaped whatever good feelings you have for example i would say my realization of my morning cup of tea how pleasuresome it is and how it sen- brings me sense of stability i would attribute this to my practice of mindfulness before that yes i had enjoyed it probably but i don't remember each and every moment i don't remember being so aware of what it brings to me and in what way it's a very simple example and you can think about a simple example of this sort or more Bart is saying maybe for videos you could hold your microphone up, phone up to your speaker so the sound could be heard similar to yours. Uh, you are right. I thought I did think about it in the past. You are right. I'll try to do that uh, because I would really like you to see a couple of videos. They're very short videos, but they do mean a lot. somebody is expressing gratitude with this camp and i have to say that it has been uh, personally speaking for me it has been a pleasure because i get to interact with you all uh, i hear back from you i answer questions and i really hope it makes a difference in your life somewhere and that would be the reward for me and one more time in all this whole endeavor i have of course the mindfulness that came to me uh as something i can be grateful for anil has a question about loving kindness compassion anil i'll respond to that question later because we are right now talking about gratitude i appreciate your comment you had a previous comment as well and i need to write to you uh, and i will probably write an email with both these things okay so at this point i assume assume you are all done with your writing of a person or an event and our first step is going to be to do a meditation about gratitude so close your eyes take a few deep breaths and relax your shoulders
And now pay attention to your breath for some time. Breathing in and breathing out. Here and now, bring yourself all here, paying attention to your breath. And now, in front of your mind's eyes, allow the image of the person who influenced you or, or who attributed to the good feelings, the joyful feelings, or a feeling of goodness that you have felt. A feeling of success feeling of achieving anything. Think about a person or an event and bring the image of this person in front of your eyes. And if it is an event, bring something from this event, some image from this event in front of your mind eyes. A person or an event. Let this image float in front of your eyes. And allow your mind to be filled up with gratitude towards this person or this event. Breathe in, I experience gratitude. Breath in and experience gratitude for this person or event. And as you are expressing gratitude, notice what comes to your mind about the reasons why you feel gratitude towards this person. Before we started this meditation, you had thought about some reasons. Allow those reasons to float in your mind and pay attention to those reasons.
notice notice these reasons notice what comes to your mind I sit here and breathe in gratitude. I express my gratitude towards this personal event in my own mind. I'm grateful for what these people have brought to me in my life. or this event as you breathe in and breathe out and as you allow yourself to calm to become calm and you experience gratitude allow it to go deep Breathing gratitude. And send your gratitude to this person. and with this at this point we are going to turn again to our breath breathe in and breathe out and pay attention to the breath again and say the line three times in your mind breathe in i smile breathe out i am okay breathe in i smile breathe out i am okay breathe in i smile breathe out i am okay
I see some comments. Let me see if there's anything I need to respond to. Okay, Bart says, uh, he asks me my email. Yes, Bart, my email address is two meditate together at gmail.com. Number two, meditate together at gmail.com. And the reason it's to meditate together at gmail.com is because of the app, which is available in the app stores for free download to meditate. No space, just number two, meditate. And the reason I'm mentioning this app right now is because it's the togetherness aspect of this app. When you go on the app, there is a global meditation going on at any time when you go. You can jump in the global meditation. And currently, that meditation, in fact, is gratitude meditation. So I urge you all to download the app and listen to that meditation. Listen to the gratitude meditation and be grateful. And next time, we are going to do even more wonderful work on gratitude meditation. Right now, I need to say bye.